Alice, this is Jerome. Isabel and I are making our approach on the banished base beneath the carrier. Roger that, Jerome. My team is standing by and ready to roll on your say-so. Good to hear. Once the carrier's shield is down, we'll only have a small window of time to board it via the grav lift. I need your team on standby, in case we run into any problems. I've got your back, Jerome. You just worry about getting there. Good luck. We're approaching the LZ for the grab lift now. Wait, we got hostiles. Hold on, we're going down. No, no, no! Into that grab lift isn't gonna be as easy as we hoped. Jerome, I'm picking up chatter over comms. The banished are on their way. Sniper team, this is Sergeant Olieri. The banished defense has got the drop on us and grounded Jerome and Isabel's pelican on the way to the grav lift. Get to the crash site and rendezvous with them for new orders. Well, that could have gone better. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Halo Wars 2. I am Automa Titan. And today we have access to the snipers, which are some fantastic anti-infantry units. Now, I do have the ability to spawn in some ODSTs, and I may do that at some point during this level. However, at the start of the mission, I feel like using the snipers is the best thing to do, although... I do love using snipers in the multiplayer and the firefight mode purely because they have the ability to outrange a lot of units and that gives you a bit of an edge in the multiplayer. Looks like the Banish don't really like the fact that I am taking some of the supplies but I don't really care what the Banish think at the moment we have both the range and the height advantage, so we should be able to take out as many of the banished as we can in relative safety. As I said before, the range advantage that these snipers provide is one of the best things to have in this game. In a way, game, I'm kind of happy that Jerome's Pelican crashed. I'm not happy that Isabel was involved in the crash, but I am kind of happy that Jerome crashed because of his performance a couple of episodes ago. No, at least he is kicking the shit out of a brute. And it's time to bring in some ODSDs just to reinforce our snipers and Jerome, the worst Spartan of Red Team. I love the Kodiaks, they are fantastic artillery units, and considering that there is a enemy base over here, a couple of anti-building artillery devices are fantastic right now. We do have a forward base being set up, so in a moment we are going to begin laying down siege on the base. I want to try something, I've never really used the Jack Rabbit, although it is an incredibly fast scouting unit, kind of like the Warthog, but faster and as a trade-off somewhat weaker. So, okay, the plan didn't work. The plan did not work. My plan was to get the Jack Rabbit all the way over here, drop in some ODSDs, and let the Kodiaks bombard the base. But as you all saw, that didn't really work out. Kodiak, are you okay? You've kind of gone away from assault the base mode and you're just looking at a crystal. Come on, you've been deployed so that we can take out the banished base and that's not really what you're doing right now. Come on, deploy yourself and get back to doing your job. I mean, even the game's disagreeing with you 
because it's not telling me to protect you where it's telling me to protect the other two Cordiacs. At least the Cordiacs that are doing their job are actually attacking the base. Right, I'm going to get an Earth Strike down and do as much damage as I can in a brief period of time. We've got rid of the Shield Generator, which is fantastic. And now we're just going to wait until the base explodes. Kodiak, why are you down here? Of all places to be, this is not where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be up there with the other two Kodiaks shelling the base. Not down here with the Marines. Why are you here? Turrets are still active around the grav lift, Jerome. We're gonna need some heavy armor to destroy them. That's what Alice is here for. 130, do you copy? We're ready. Hi, Captain Jerome. It's about time, too. I was beginning to think you wanted to win this war on your own. Wouldn't want to spoil your fun, Alice. The Banished are defending their grav lift with anti air turrets. I have Isabel with me, so I can't risk a frontal assault. And a pelican won't make it past those guns. I need someone to flank them and take them out. Okay. We can station Kodiaks at these three points, so we can hit those turrets simultaneously. You'll be able to get across before the Banished have even noticed. Good eyes on hostile. Setting up more defenses. Kodiaks, target those generators and fire at will. Well, at least this time we have control of the Kodiaks, and this time the Kodiaks are not going to confuse the hell out of me, although that one did look like it was having a bit of trouble there. Right, Kodiaks, nuke the generator, let's get through. I'm liking the fact that even on this half of the mission, that one Kodiak is still out of position. It's not moved back. And I don't think it will move back because it's just being a stubborn Kodiak at this point. It's decided it wants to live there. Either way though, I'm still enjoying the Grunt Birthday Party School. It's still satisfying for me to hear every time a Grunt dies, they celebrate their death with nothing but glee. Even though that the Banished know that we're coming, they're not really offering much of a fight. They're allowing us to push through with relative ease. It's almost like they want us to get through. I could be wrong, but that's just how it feels. Then again, the Banished just could be incredibly shit at defending the positions that they hold and a better at all in engages. Banished, no matter how many wraiths you put down, we have a large amount of units. We're gonna rush you down with what we have, and even if that didn't work, we've got a large healing field on the go that can just repair any and all damage that you do. Banished, no matter how much you try, you are not going to best the UNSC today. Even though it can turn units invisible. Game? Game, can I have control of my armor? Right, even though it can turn units invisible, it's still going to be a relatively easy unit to kill because, as I've said before, we have a lot of units and even if a. say, a banished counters vehicles, and we have quite a few vehicles, but because we have so many marines on the field the banner the banshees are not going to be able to do as much damage as they would like and even then the snipers they are anti-infantry units however if you have a massive amount of infantry a small amount of snipers 
are not going to be able to deal with that infantry. I have to say though, that as much as I'm enjoying this level, I am a little bit disappointed that we weren't able to get access to a, well, any flying units. And do we still have a Kodiak? Yes, we do. Let's just get this deployed at the final deployment area. Thank you for watching today's episode of Halo Wars 2. I am Automa Titan and I will see you next time.
done. Time to go home. Whoa. You've been busy? Not as busy as you. The grav lift. What do we do? You. You hold on. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait.